Hi, um, today I want to talk about another paper that I've been recently reading regarding the topic of community detection. So uh, I find this paper very interesting because the algorithm is basically extracting one community at a time and then throughout the iteration until there's no edges left uh, within, uh, in, from the, from the uh, network data. And uh, while reading this paper, I, I have some problem, uh, I have some question to ask. So I have been emailed the first author regarding some of my questions and, and also as well as my, uh, my codes. And then uh, Chong actually uh, uh, always um, answering my question very detailed and, and I really learned a lot from him and as well as from this paper. So I just want to say thank you for, uh, thank you Chong for, uh, for this, uh, for this interesting article. So uh, basically, the key um, uh, idea of this paper is that um, there's a criteria here, so that uh, so the so that you want to maximize this uh, cost function. Well, not uh, you want to maximize the the um, um, let's say the connection. That uh, the connection of the of the nodes that is within a uh, within a, a community, while you also added a penalty term here to 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 set a limit on the number of edges within this group, so you want to maximize these while like not uh, bring all the bring all the uh, nodes in in with that makes that makes the the, the network data set become one community so that's why the you set a, a penalty here to to as a as a constraint so that's the key idea of this algorithm and then if you're interested in the math here in the section 2.2 it also talk about um how to maximize uh the the criteria using the augmented lagrangian method and then there are also two um, two detail function for for updating the um, the, um, the the vector for the for the for the group assignment. So here is the detail algorithm. And I, as always, I always uh, I also I also uh, coded uh, the algorithm into in R, and then I also tested uh, um, myself. So uh, I'm I'm going now. I'm going to de demonstrate my R codes, and then you can also find the MATLAB codes online by from from that is written for, by by this by the author. But um, so I'm just going to show that how this algorithm can help for uh, community detection or community extraction. And then uh, there are some detail. Uh, there are also some. Um, um, uh, some rules for running the algorithm while um, you uh, going through the algorithm. Okay, so again, I'm still going to use the karate data set. So, um, getting the, the, the adjacency matrix, and I also have the true label, and then um, this is the nodes, it's just how many nodes in, in, in this network data set. And then there's also two uh, function here that I define. Um, one is the L function, uh, and then the other one is the operation. So which is introduced in here. So the L function is from here. You can find the 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 um, the calculation in here. And then the D operation is just uh, for, for when you introduce another um, another um, another uh, vector. So you want to update. So basically, just update these four vectors iterate uh, alternatively. And then uh, to up to, to get the final um, uh, uh, in uh, nodes for 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 each uh, community while running the algorithm iteratively. So um, so let's uh, call these two function and then get the normalized uh, Laplacian for uh, defined as Q. And then, um, and then you, you write the criteria into this format, and then uh, proceeding with these uh, 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 calculation for the uh, augmented uh, Lagrangian to update the um, uh, the vector uh, for the uh, for the node assignment.
So uh, for the uh, in this paper, I also talk about uh, empirically how to how to improve the performance. So basically, uh, is that uh, given uh, so there are a few uh, parameters you can you can you can um, you can uh, you can tune so that you can improve your uh, performance for your algorithm. So here I'm just going to use the default algorithm, uh, default uh, rules from uh, that is introduced by, uh, in this article. So first of all, I need to get a um, uh, um, a v start to um, uh, as to initialize my um, to initialize the algorithm uh, one of the vector. So first of all, um, well I already run this algorithm many times, so I know like uh, I should use uh, seven. So I just get the the initialized vector first. And now, um, so there, so uh, in this algorithm, the algorithm, the lambda is default by one over square root of the, the number of nodes, and then the in, the most important things that you want that that you want that you want you can tune in this algorithm is the eta, where which is actually the the um, the uh, the parameter that you use to control. Your uh, the number of the uh, number of nodes within this group, so that's the thing you want to m maximize the 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 criteria while minimizing you don't want minimizing the group uh, the number of nodes otherwise the entire network will become one community, so, so that's why you want to minimize it, and then uh, the algorithm also states uh, that um, start from zero to get the initialized v, and then um, start from given the the first um, v, and then I can start it to um, to get my first uh, to oh, um, so that I can get my uh, uh, nodes for my first community. So now I'm going to check. So uh. So I have two. Uh, so I have eleven eta here. So now I'm going to find the the eta that can maximize, that can maximize the my um, let's say this, uh, the connection within the group. So. So now let's start the for loop. Sometimes if you if I have a different uh, 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 random uh, if I start from different uh, position I can get uh, it might take a long longer time for to run the um, the for loop so now let's take a look so you can see that after the first uh, uh, first um, iteration I already have the have to have a, a, a group assignment so you can see that as uh, so for for my first iteration for those non um, non zero and element which means that um, uh, which means that uh, the algorithm think those nodes are at, should fall into my first um, should fall into my first um, uh, community. So now let's take a look. So you can see that there are six uh, um, nodes that has been extracted from this algorithm, where there are totally thirty four nodes from this uh, from the nodes. I can actually uh, also graph. Uh, to show you that uh, what the network actually look like. Well, uh, in uh, as a well the the well uh, there is already true label. So basically, there are two network here, and then you can see the separation by the color. But um, actually, but however, the algorithm uh, the algorithm returns one uh, these six nodes, which it cons which the algorithm consider becomes uh, as a first um, first uh, community so I, as you can see that actually it is not difficult to to tell to 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 to, um, to see that actually it is this uh, six nodes here so one five six seven eleven and seventeen so the algorithm actually cons actually recognize that these six nodes as uh, as the fir my first community and but uh, as you can see from the graph, that is not uh, not surprisingly because because uh, you can see that it is very uh, uh, dense. Uh, there are more connection between these six nodes. So um, so so it is still reasonable to consider these six nodes as the one as the first community. So now let's uh, so the algorithm. So after what well, after the first iteration, let's remove. Um, Let's remove the nodes that we already extract. So so far, uh, 
so so since there's still some nodes left, so I, I just so uh, let's extract another community. So the so the nodes re uh, left in the in the remaining network is uh, twenty eight. So there are still twenty eight um, nodes for my next iteration. So now let's get the normalized Laplacian again, and let's get the we need to uh, initialize the V again so the first okay so now I need to so you just need to keep updating the 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 the, the tuning parameter so so that uh, uh, to to get to get the to get your initialized uh, vector so now I'm having uh, uh, my initialized V so I'm going to use that uh, V K as my initialized uh, uh, vector so basically and then using have using that and then to alternatively updating each um, para uh, each uh, vector until there is no difference between these two, and then that vector will be considered as your as your um, as your uh, node assignment for your second or for your next community. So now let's set that as one. So basically, you can find all um, all my tuning process in in this paper. So I have a v0 as my initialized vector, and then I'm going to find the eta that maximize the the criteria. Okay. So it seems like okay. So given that uh um my uh the um um this one uh. The connection between uh, that is a uh, uh, within group divided by the total uh, by the by the by the connection of within group and between group. So since this one already become one, so that means that that means the my um, my my um, my u sub k should actually returning the my uh, my the, the 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 label that the algorithm thinks that the nodes should fall into my second um, second connect, uh, community uh, as you go through the 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 the, sec, um, the second uh, group assignment you can see that almost everything becomes uh, is non zero except for this one so um, so so that means uh, the algorithm consider the rest of the 27 nodes fall into the second community while there's another there's except for this nodes well actually it is uh, the algorithm consider as, a, as an outlier so let's take a look for this um, for this uh, for the next assignment uh, of my second community so I think I should already have X okay so So let me add the group um, the group assignment for my first uh so one five six seven eleven and seventeen so basically it's the group from here so it should be one five six seven eleven seventeen okay so now I have two grouping here um, okay. So um, well, this is just the name that uh, that that um, the number is corresponding to to the, to the number of nodes for to, for the nodes for nodes. So uh, you can see that, um, and uh, um, okay. So now let's take a look for the real community. So uh, so the actual uh, community. Is that there are actually two community here, and then uh, 
and then uh, the color corresponding to their to their true uh, label. But however, by running this algorithm, I actually get my first community for uh, that is uh, for uh, that uh, that is assigned to these six nodes, and then uh, the algorithm assign uh, um, all the rest of the nodes uh, will as considered are considered to be the second community. So D6 becomes the first community and then the rest becomes the second community. However, as you recall, there's another um, 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 there's another um, non-zero elements that um, there's a zero elements in this um, Okay, so as you can see that uh, there's another zero elements in, in my in my uh, assignment vector. So actually it is uh, the, um, the 12 uh, nodes. So you can so the algorithm identify that uh, after after two iteration and then the, the my entire network is only left with this nodes. So this algorithm may not returning like uh, well, uh, may not returning like the so-called the true uh, uh, group assignment, but as but you can see that uh, the algorithm is still returning reasonable um, uh, group uh, labeling, as you can see that uh, it recognized these six as the first uh, community, the rest as the second, and this twelve you can think of it as an outlier since you can see that there's only one edges between uh, the this uh, nodes and. Uh, between this nodes and itself, so that it is not um, not surprise that uh, the algorithm recognized this as an outlier. So, uh, well, the purpose for this uh, video or this algorithm is not to showing that uh, it is not always giving you the correct uh, community uh, label, but it's but this is still one of the algorithm that can that is not uh, uh, taking. Um, that is not uh, given that the number of k. So um, given the network data, so that you um, you can uh, iteratively extracting the 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 nodes and uh, the community. However, the other uh, there are many. So far, there are many algorithm on, uh, that publish um, that is always uh, uh, have to that the number of the community. Uh, is always given to the algorithm, so um, but that is not not always the case. So for this algorithm, I think it is fascinating because uh, you can uh, run it, uh, extract one community at a time without giving the prior for the for uh, the um, the number of uh, how many community you ha there there should be in, in given a, uh, a network data. So that's one of the things that I find very interesting in this paper, uh, comparing to the other other paper, uh, other uh, algorithm uh, pub, uh, published. So, uh, so, um, so, I, and again, I just want to say thank, uh, thank you um, for thanks. I just want to say thank you to the first author of this paper that uh, I have been uh, keep asking question and disturbing him, and then uh, I really learned a lot from him and uh, from from his answer, uh, and 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 from this article, and I really find it. I really think this uh, paper is uh, this algorithm uh, intri uh, fascinating, since um, uh, w since it is um, it it. it uh, well, uh, when the the number of the commu the true com the number of community of the network is not given while extracting, uh, while can identify the group uh, the 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 node uh, uh, label, uh, um, one um, by extracting one community at a time. So um, thank you very much, and I hope you uh, in enjoy the video. So um, uh, let me know if you have any questions.